If you're ever curious as to uh, making a suspension for ferro fluid, I'm going to show you right here how simple it is. You're going to need a glass jar, some ferro fluid, and some 70% rubbing alcohol. The glass jar just makes sure it's clean and a good sealed top and preferably square sides. It should be a good uh, holder for it. Now this ferro fluid, I picked this up on eBay for I don't know what it was, probably $25, $30. And it's actually, there's four ounces there. It's very high quality. I tried making it and that didn't work so well. And then the other one is the rubbing alcohol. As you can see there, 70% seems to work real good. And what you'll end up doing is just basically take the lid off your jar, make sure the inside's clean and dried out and that, and you don't want no impurities in it. Pour your alcohol in. And what I did was fill it up to probably a half an inch from the top. Once you got that done, you just take your ferro fluid and I got a nice little squeeze top on it, which helps me from keeping uh, making a mess all over the place because this stuff is pretty messy. And you'll end up just pouring a little bit of that in. Depends on how much you want or how strong of a magnet you got, but I probably, I, I do believe I would put about maybe a teaspoon in there to start it out with. And this does work pretty good as far as keeping the ferro fluid suspended to 70% alcohol. You get all that done, just put your lid back on. And right here I got a pretty good rare earth magnet as far as just to test it out and see how it does. It's decent pull, nothing special, probably about a $3 magnet. Like I said, it keeps it in suspension pretty good. Keeps the side of the glass clean and if you're to just use water or actually no suspension at all, it'll cloud the side up so bad you won't even be able to see it. This next, next one, a little bit stronger magnet. Put it on the side and see if I can pull it away from each other there. It's pretty good. This next one I got a 2 by 2 by one inch rare earth magnet, quite powerful, I mean it'll crush your hand if you don't watch it. I'm having a hard time keeping a glass sitting in one spot with the pull of the magnet. Some pretty neat stuff. At least the play with kind of a novelty but you can do a lot of experiments with this ferro fluid which I'll be putting other videos on messing with it a little bit but very simple to make the suspension for it and seems to work pretty good it tends to stick a little bit after a day or so but overall it, you know it's once you got it made and sealed, it's very clean. As long as you 
you'll break your damn glass.